Well, I think I have a new channel mascot here. This little rock I made. It's pretty cute. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put you over here while I clean up this stupid amount of, you know, I got this felt, right, for the backdrop, and I think the clipped edges, like, yeah, it's just, it's just shedding. So we're gonna lint roll today. I'm always sick every single day of the year, it seems. Got something going on, and just, oh, hey, all right. I'm thinking I might take the Atamu Blues out of this thing, just because, it's a nice board by itself, and I could easily take it apart. There's some uh, screw holes up top, of course. And on the back, I'm sure there's a few hidden ones. It's nice. It, it, it's really a nice 10 keyless board. But, you know, I think with this, this would be better if I had, like... This would be nice to put something stupid in. Something that I don't really care about, but something that I want to do. So... <laughs> I don't know. But I should be able to order some new switches for my silk milkshake very soon. And I have the fun. I have the funds to do so. But I just don't have the willpower to decide between something like Zelios or the Glorious Pandas. And I can tell you which one I'm probably going to go for. Because one of them I have to order not on Amazon and the other I have to order on Amazon. So you can probably guess which one I'm gonna do. Because convenience is life and, oh boy, wow. <laughs> Ready for cleaning part two? Oh boy. So I've been thinking about getting a new camera, but every time I do, it just comes up as buy Panasonic, which I think is pretty hilarious because people would really be up in arms about that. They'd be like, Panasonic, bro, the autofocus. I'm like, well, Autofocus on any modern mirrorless camera is better than, you know, better than what DSLRs had for the most part. Especially better than they had in their regular DSLR mode. It's just a fact that, you know, contrast detect isn't bad, it's just worse than what we have now. Just because stuff was good doesn't mean it stopped being good. It just means that things got better, most likely. A nice, much better thing to look at than dirty car. So, that's good. Okay, now the reason why we're all here. This is the best way, I think, to store your switches. I had this idea when I was in the store, actually, right? And I was just like, oh my god, you know, mason jars, what if? I don't know how many switches can fit in this, and I started looking online. And it turns out a lot of other people do the same thing. So, I was like, okay. And yeah, there are 74 silk milkshake switches in here. Where's the 75th one? Because I think they came in a pack of 75. It's in here. It's in there. It's got a stain from when I spilled my energy drink into my keyboard, like the first day of owning it. And so I just like replaced some of the switches with these and stuff. I think it was 75 pieces it started with. I don't know, I don't remember. But yeah, I think this is the best way to store things like this. Airtight, or at least mostly, and it'll keep dust out, which is of course the enemy of a keyboard switch. So, what I'd like to do is then box up my other switches as well. These things are great. This one's got the click on it. They weren't supposed to have that click, which is the funny part, but they just did from uh, just using them. It's just um, it's a design thing that happened over time. I think it's just because it was such a fierce tactility. It's kind of like the box jade feeling. Imagine a box jade without the click bar and some resistance from the click bar. It's an insanely tactile switch. That goes for the jades as well. Hey, got the new, we got those red dragon browns. All right, so these are the greens. I like these, but they're just kind of weird. Maybe I'll have to give them another try. So let's uh, let's bottle these up, shall we?
Let's get down to business. Sweet. And then we write. Then we write, of course. Gator on green. So, like how I'm doing with these, they will be written like that. And I guess cover my face up on that. That way you can actually read it like that. Yeah. So, that way I know what's what, even though by looking at them I probably would. Oh, another thing, this is, this is that one switch, right? This was the one from the spill. As you can see, it's uh, it still works really good. It's still a silk milkshake, but you know it's got some stuff on it. It's I think that's just dried Monster Energy, to be honest. So I don't use this one anymore. I could clean it, but I just don't want to have to fuss with it in case something does happen internally and it starts sticking or something. Oh my god. Some of these, I remember, I moved some of the damage switches to over here went with the spill. And so I just, you know, took a milkshake out of here that wasn't harmed, put it in the main typing area. And then these became... That's that's a gator on green. It's obviously a kale uh, jade. And that... I think those are both royals. Those are both royals. Wow. They can really, that's the weird thing about box royals is they felt entirely different depending on, like after you use them for a while, they just felt, like all of them felt different. And it was kind of a weird thing like that because, you know, you want to switch with consistency, but it just did not offer that. It did not offer consistency. I'm not a, I'm not one of the people that really cares if, for example, you know, one of them is, if it's like, if like one switch or a couple switches out of the entire keyboard is, I don't really care if it's, you know, mix and match. That's fine. Hey, check it out. This says, uh, ABS, it's made of ABS in that bottom area. Interesting. So if I just keep touching it and touching it, it'll eventually become shiny, guys. What a profound idea. What if I just opened the windows to the vehicle instead of, you know, just having a hatch open? So I had no idea that the recording stops after 30 minutes, which is okay, I guess. I think it just happened too, so that's cool. So here we are, uh, the finished product. I am... Um, we have my box jades, we got the silk milkshakes, and we have the Gatoron greens. Nice touch. I suppose I should line up the logos. Yeah. These look nice. They really do. I quite like the way these look. We'll just put the remainder sad switches into a jar of their own. I think that works pretty good. Cool. Well, it's good enough to be stored now. Just have to figure out <clears throat> my finishing thoughts on a different keyboard. Kind of just working on a lot of different projects at once, so there's that. But yeah, I'll be posting more. Thanks for stopping by.